If you're still in champion select, Kindred can pretty much dodge what he has to hit you and will have enough reaction time to ult when he uses his. Warwick will be tankier and have more lives to let pretty much any time in the game, while Rengar's invisibility will allow him to strike and kill before he can do much. Rek'Sai, Elise, and Gragas have interesting matchups versus him because of their increased escapability and hard CC. Kane's passive allows him to change forms between a blue and red one based on whether he's damaged, not killed, more ranged, or melee champions respectively. The blue form will burn enemies after damaging them and makes him a squishy assassin, while the the red form makes him a tanky bruiser and will heal him when he hits abilities. His Q is a dash and flourish. His W makes him perform an upward sweep after a short delay. He can't move while casting it unless he's in his blue form. If he's in his red form, it'll knock up enemies that get hit. His E allows him to literally move through walls. If he's in his blue form, then he'll also remove slows and become immune to them for the duration. This ability allows him to use some interesting ganking paths and will force you to place wards in weird places to prevent him from showing up and surprise you. His ultimate makes him infest an enemy becoming untargetable for the duration. Blue form means longer range, red form means healing when he comes out. A large percentage will turn into the red cane due to the tank meta that we're in, and his combo will most likely look like this. Q, auto attack, W, auto attack, Q, auto attack, ultimate. Like with most junglers, he'll take the smite flash combo, and so will you if you're a jungler. It's much more worth it for you to take the red smite versus him if he's in his blue form, and take the blue smite if he's in his red form to gain some distance. Kane has a few interesting power spikes. 3 is when he'll start ganking, 6 is when he'll start dealing damage, and 9 is when he'll start killing. Finishing up the jungle item and his black lever is when he's at his strongest point in regard to the rest of the players. His next power spike is obvious, and it comes from the transformation. He's strongest in the mid to late game when he can really delete and focus whoever he wants in any form. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, ward behind terrain if you're a laner, don't panic when he's infested you since you have 2 seconds to think about what to do, and understand that he'll go for anyone in his red form but will take his time to bring him down, and become restricted to squishies in his blue form but will KO them quick. Ultimately, just have fun doing it.